Friday. I think um, I think Mr. Kwok has got the track done next Friday. We will, by God's grace, begin our evangelism here in the neighborhood. And evangelism is one of those things that that um, that never comes naturally. It's not a natural thing to go disturb somebody about their faith. You know, some people want to be disturbed. Some people don't want to be disturbed. And you don't know which is which. It's not like you're making warm calls, you know. Like, yeah, i got a whole list of people that invited me over to their house. Uh, that, that'd be nice. Even then, even then you feel kind of funny going over to somebody's house. I don't know. But this is, we're going to go to people's houses that eventually they will know us. Eventually they will know us. But immediately they won't. There's a, this lady, Chris, um, Kristen, Christian, Kristen, Kristen, and then Cherie. We're going to find them because they're in the neighborhood here. Uh, but you know the, that God is God is the one that stabilizes our fear. He has to be. He says, "Fear not, fear not." Next week, Paul, uh, Peter's going to step out of the boat. We're going to talk about that because I really believe that God has called us to step out of the boat. That's not. That's definitely not natural. Stepping out of the boat. You step out of the boat, no one's supposed to float, and, and no one's supposed to walk on water. And really, the, the life that God has called us into is a supernatural life. It's not natural. It shouldn't be natural. You shouldn't be able to do what God wants you to do without God. Right? He's not saying, here's what I want you to do, do it without me. But he's saying, here's what I want you to do. And the only way to do it is with me. And that's because he's our father. He's with us, he loves us, and cares for us. So this is um, so that's the simple message for today. Matthew 14, 22 to 27. And then we'll pick up verse 28 and look at Peter next week. I think you're going to enjoy his character and the Bible study on that portion of scripture. Okay, let's pray together. So Father, we're just um, thankful that we can know Jesus Christ, that we can read this, this um, portion of Scripture and identify with these storms, Lord. We, we could ask, does God really love me if He would send me to a storm like this? But then we realize that Your presence in the storm is the whole, that's the whole point. Your presence with us in the storm of life is the point that you have sent us into a storm. This world is in a storm. Lord, and we, uh, we thank you that we can know you. We thank you for these encouraging words that you are with us and not to be afraid. Lord, I do pray for those who aren't here of this little church and that you would bless them and today special to give them a touch from heaven. Just let them know how much you care for them and love them. And do, Lord, go before us on our evangelism. This little community around us, Lord, around Lake Montebello, uh, down 33rd Street, and Lord, across the way off Rick, between here and Bella Road, Lord, and, and, and our neighbors right here. These well-to-do neighbors, Lord, and then the other people on the other side, we just pray that you would Use us to touch them, prepare uh, our way for us, open hearts of people to the gospel of Christ. We thank you, Lord. Bless us as we go. We pray for the concert next weekend, Lord, for the band, uh, that you would um, really use these guys and gals to, to minister in a real special way to the people that are at that concert. May it just be a revelation of your grace and love for them. Um, thank you for that opportunity also. Bring us back safely next week. We thank you in Christ's name. Amen. Okay, amen. Let's have the band good. Sing the song. Let's, let's stand up. We can get down a little bit early. Sing the song. You're dismissed.
Sarah.